Hello everyone, this is Ron. Welcome to another Punishing Gray Raven video. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how far an F2P or a moderate spender should develop or pull a character. Because if you are an F2P or a moderate spender like me, if you have certain limited amount of black cards and resources, and you can develop or pull a S-ranked character up to a certain point, and you should stop at certain points, because let me show you the character and how far you can upgrade and what are the conditions so let's go to the members and let's talk about lucia and if you go to the train section there is a option called evolve if i remove my head you can see the evolve option this is the evolve option and this in this place you need to upgrade your character to s to double s to triple s ss plus there's a lot of lot of ranks and for that you will need these inverse shard each and every character is having inverse shard and you have to collect them through different ways there are free ways and also there are paid ways that means uh, buying uh, black cards or spending black cards that's the paid way and there is also a uh, free way that is you need to go to this battle section and you need to play this phantom pain cage and in many videos I told you that this is the most important game mood in this game because this gives you one of the uh, this is one of the best source for black cards but at the same time this will give you a lot of other rewards too and some of them are of course these consumable rewards but if you complete all these tasks on a weekly basis that is you need to play one two three four four stages from here four stages from here and four stages from here totally 12 stages you need to clear test elite night and chaos if you clear totally 12 stages you will get good number of black cards but on top of that you will get a special currency that is known as uh, let me take you to the shop and show you that this is the currency phantom pain scar the game will send you this currency after each weeks of gameplay i think on monday on monday the game will send you certain amount of scars and that's it you cannot farm it even more there is no way to get this thing and this is the thing that you can buy the character shards for example i am having currently this inverse shard of luminance leave luminance the physical leave luminance this is shards for uh, rosetta rigor physical this is shard for bianca stigmata physical and also there is shards for lucia crimson weave so these shards options unlocks when you get a certain character from the s rank pool or in any ways you can unlock them by getting them uh, through the s rank selector and so on and so forth so these are the shards that you can get and totally available 30 in total there are total 30 shards available that you can get maximum from this sh uh, shop and as you can see that uh, 30 shards are available for crimson weave but for bianca stigmata only four available because i already bought 26 shards and i kind of upgraded her and actually you will need 30 shards to upgrade her from s to uh, double s and what is that let's go to the member gain and let's go to the train section and evolve this is the thing this is the place where we are, go we are going to use these shards this invert shard that you bought from the phantom pain case shop and each of these nodes are going to get unlocked if you spend certain amount of shards but for example the first nod will unlock if i spend three of them i don't really have any one of them until now i can buy of course so let's go and buy the shards because i think i have some currencies and let's go to the battle shop the phantom pain cage and we go to the shop and there are 10 shards available this week i think so let me just 
buy them so i have 60 uh, around 60 of these uh, uh, things so i am spending 60 let's see how many we can get purchase successful i bought them i spent all of these skulls now let's go to the character and show you that how to unlock member Lucia evolve now you see there's a blue button here that means we can upgrade you see that we got six of the shards and we need three of them so we can unlock actually two nodes let's unlock the first node there is not much animation or anything it just you know so quiet this so quiet it, it will quietly just happen so make sure that you are doing it right another three shards we are having we can unlock another node we unlock another node and each and every node will give her some properties and whenever you will unlock this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think totally ten nodes whenever you are going to unlock ten or eleven i think ten but whatever whenever all the nodes will be unlocked you will be able to go to this s from growth that is you will get the growth from s to double s for example let me show you my bianca stigmata who is currently on a double s and i did the same thing with her i bought every week i collected my scars from the phantom pain cage i bought the shards and i unlocked gradually and finally now she is double s that means you can entirely level up one character from s rank to double s rank entirely for free from the in-game currencies and you don't have to spend anything for that this is the best uh, suggestion for the f2ps to get one copy from the uh, s rank banners and then keep playing phantom pain cage again and again so you can upgrade this character to double s now that is double s what if i want to upgrade further and shall i do it as an f2p as an f2p you should not do it and you cannot do it because if you want to go ahead further you will see that in the pan phantom pain case shop for bianca stigmata we only left we have we can collect four shards uh, that's all that's all we cannot collect any more that is the limit of the freeways and if you want to upgrade her further you need to summon once again whenever she is available in any 70% rate of banner or in any ways maybe selector or something you have to get another copy of the character to actually you know and uh, let's go to the members and if i want to proceed with my bianca to triple s I need to once again unlock these nodes all of these nodes and look at these this time the cost is high last time we spent three of these shards each and every time we unlock the nodes but now this is not same it has increased three times nine uh, of the shards we need each and every time we unlock that means nine one two three four five six seven eight nine i think ten that means you will need 90 shards to get uh, this double s to triple s this is the equation from going double s to triple s and getting 90 shards means what you have to have three copies for this character because whenever you have one copy of this character that will convert into 30 shards so 30 into 3 equals 90 that will take you to triple s that means even if i have uh, 30000 black cards right now that means i can get two copy i can guaranteedly get two copy of the new character for example not bianca stigmata but let's just say the current character if the current character was triple s and if i was able to get two copies still that doesn't guarantee triple s i still need to have another copy in total i have to have three copies to proceed from double s to triple s so that's the 
thing that you need to understand before proceeding further that you might actually have some black cards left and the character is also left left in the banner you can get a couple of copies but that actually may not be a good idea and also there is another problem is whenever this 70% rate of banner will come up that actually doesn't guarantee the character that has a chance that you might actually end up getting any other, other character I think because I haven't really summoned in one of those banners so let me know in the comments that how this thing works usually I don't recommend anyone to pull in the 70% uh, banner uh, because it is always a good idea to save for the upcoming new new damage dealers or upcoming new S rank characters so overall what is the recommendation okay before I proceed to the further final recommendation let me show you that if you want to proceed further like for example if you want to proceed to uh, triple S to SS plus the requirements will become even even more higher each and every time if you unlock these nodes you have to actually spend even more amount of these shards that means in total you have to spend a lot of lot of them and 180 shards you need to spend if you want to move from SS S to SS plus that is triple S to triple S plus so overall my recommendation for the F2P players and basically for all the low spenders unless you are a very big spender that is get one cap copy of the character uh, from the weapon uh, from the banner and make the character double S by playing the phantom bane cage and if you still want to upgrade the damage of the character or if you want to uh, if you are looking for more performance from the character try to get the six star weapon try to get this uh, six star weapon that's uh, also available this uh, target weapon with this banner night blaze the current banner this will increase the damage number a lot guys you don't have to simply just level up and increase the damage there is a lot of ways to increase the damage and soon i'm going to publish another video that how you can actually increase the damage output of the character without even spending the black cards that is basically working on the character you can work on the weapon you can work on the cub that's it guys these are the things these are kind of way more friendly to the f2p approach for free to play and low spenders so i hope this video was helpful to you to understand that how far you should proceed uh, with character development in this game uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions i would be happy to answer and thank you for watching don't forget to support the content support the channel and i hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends